Hey, uh, welcome to me continuing Tears of the Kingdom. If you're watching, watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Sorry. Stumbled over my own words in the first 15 seconds. I'm a little tired, but hey, we'll see how we go. Alright. I came back here because there's... Let's just see. Oh, right. I need to take a photo of that. Okay. It's not what I'm after. That one. Let's go see that first. I had no idea you were such a, hmm? <laughs> well, look who it is. The owner tells me you rescued her from the Mulduga. Sucks so, truly. Here's a little something to reward your bravery. A diamond. I still can't believe you took on such a huge monster in one. Hylian and Vo are pretty impressive. It's because of you that I was able to make it back to town. Sucks so. I knew I'd see you again, of course, but I wasn't sure it would be here. And even more surprising, not only do you mean something special to me for saving my life, but you are also special to Lady Riju. You really are a one-of-a-kind Vo, aren't you? I'd like to reward you as well. But my reward is little involved, so do you mind coming to talk to me when you have some time? Now. Everyone, including me, has been able to get our lives back to normal. And it's all because of you, suck so. You know... We all owe you a great debt, and I think I can begin to repay it by crafting the arms of the seven for you. Right, the sword and shield passed down by the Gerudo, and that can only be wielded by a chosen individual. I'm talking about the Scimitar of the Seven and Daybreaker, of course. They're crafted using a special technique only known to me, and I have chosen you to carry over them. Will you let me make the arms of the seven for you? Ah. That's the spirit. Okay, I need to gather materials. Truth be told, I'd like to gather the materials for you myself, but it is the duty of the bearer of the arms to do that. I need four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a Gerudo scimitar, and a Gerudo shield. Even a decayed Gerudo scimitar will do the trick. Okay, then, once you've gathered all the materials, come back and talk to me. Yeah, that's... Hey! That's unfortunate. Pekki wants to investigate some ruins where huge statues face each other. However, she lost them after she the location of the ruins, so she's in a tough spot. Hmm. I guess I have to find more of them. I think it's further down. Hang on. Oh shit, it's... Hi. Madison, Sava, the trend is to keep introductions short. Mama taught me Savak, but that's how old people say it, huh? You're the guy who gave me those thunder lines. Suck for that. The sun balloon papa made me is really popular, so I made friends with everyone in town right away. It's just like Mama and Papa said, they're still watching over me, even when we're so far apart. I just remember that when I'm feeling sad, I'm really glad I came. I mean, I didn't think she should have come in the first place, that's just me. But, she seems happy. Where are they going? Oh. What is this? Yeah. The sand seal ox mama painted is the cutest. It just looks like the one I see when it's bedtime. Sava. Do you want to see a secret map too, by person? It shows the store where mommy works. Oh. Alright. 
think I like. Wait a minute, is that just a secret store? There is that quest with the guy. I don't think I have a picture of it. Okay, that's fine. It looks like the other ones are going to be somewhere else. Dude, your child is there. Open now. There we go. We're fine. Vasak. Ah. Oh. Was not expecting a bird to suddenly appear right before my eyes. Nearly made me jump out of my skin. I should thank you though. I had a crick in my back, but the shock of your arrival seems to have fixed it. <laughs> my husband is a highly invo too. Imagine if he'd been the one suddenly appearing. Obviously, he isn't allowed in town. Since it's customary for a greeter to return to town at a certain age, our daughter and I moved back here. Mm. I warned my husband several times that Voa are not allowed inside the town and were sometimes jailed, but while he insisted on traveling with us all the way here, I saw him eyeing the town walls and we parted ways. <sighs> anyway, once you're done shopping... Oh, I need to get a photo of him, don't I? Okay, so yeah, it's him. But is working at a place called the Greater Secret Club. Oh. oh, that's what the clothing store is called. What an unusual name. Well, I'm happy to hear she's doing well. She must be working hard to support Acolytes up there at the shop. <laughs> hmm, that's it. I can do my part by watching over Acolyte while she's away. It'll just have to be from inside the cell. <laughs> I didn't need to tell her. That's fine. Let's try now. It's kind of 
kind of weird because she's bending the rules. You know, not that, uh, you know what? It's fine. All right, well, I had the photo. It didn't seem to do much. Okay, anyway. I guess I have to go look for these ruins. I thought I had it here. We just look for stuff that's a cave. First of all, for the little Korok fella. Or is this for real? Diamond! 
I think that's one more left and then I get it. helping. I did hear the frog. I wonder if this is the location of the shrine or what. Gotta be here. I'm looking carefully. Curiosity than anything. I thought I'd maybe cover it and then I could unearth something. So what on earth is this? Hmm. 
the vaping stopped. Else, yeah. Yeah, it's completely stopped now. Why? Okay. Be here. This seems pretty erratic. Right, I'm going back out. What else is nearby? Ow. Oh. <laughs> Cora. Really? Oh, this is scary. Okay, I need to go on the defensive. doesn't get rid of it. now. I've used a few of them to upgrade. Where's your friend? Okay. It's not working. Here. Ah, that would be why. Huh? 
Stop. <laughs> there we go. Below? Yeah, there's gotta be a, that second pit had to be the answer. Your friend is here. Okay. Let's try this one. I don't know if this is going to lead to the right one. Okay, this is new. bones. This is the problem with her. She runs in. Say we're not missing out on anything. Okay, hang on. Uh, guess get rid of that. This is to make the sword later. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. leads around in a circle. Ah. There we go. That's just a scimitar. Probably already worthy, right? Hopefully already worthy. I don't care about magic. Is that another heart container? It might be. Ah. Huh. So I mean eight. What numbers? Hmm. I guess we'll see. I'm curious as to the title number. Got that. Okay, where am I? That's some old dude.
I should probably fight it. Just to get rid of it. Okay, are you? Probably at the top of this. It does light up. I suppose it'll give me a little icon if I've beaten it or not. I definitely should fight it because the jaw that it gives is a good weapon. Okay, now that that's been restored... What have I got? That's... Yeah. Do that. Oops. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shit, the heat is unbearable. That was gonna work. I thought I was gonna eat the car. <laughs> I'd be fine. I have 54 of them, so why not? Shooting arrows near the old digger and attacks the spot. I did try something similar as throwing stuff the first time I fought it, and it, it worked. It's just sometimes it ignores it and just goes for you. So, I mean, using the tiny robot that I have plenty of, I think, works. But hello, Smith and all. <laughs> it does work. The scouting droid. Yeah. I tried. Okay, uh... I mean, 
I doubt there's any ruins that way. I'm gonna have a look around here. Maybe over here. Let's go from here. Yeah, mind defusal bomb squad bot, <laughs> if you want to call it. I'm sure there's a few ruins I haven't been to. There's three missing. I have, to be honest, I haven't been actively looking for it until now. Like, there's just large chunks of the map I just haven't gone to. timing. Ah. Let's see. This is why this comes in handy. <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah, you want to talk about, it, like, creative use of crafting? Haha. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. Don't have to look for the rock anymore, just put it down. Especially when you have to carry it up a hill like that. It doesn't work with the shield for some weird reason. Even though it's conceptually the same thing. I, I don't understand what makes the stick so special, but... For some reason, oh, there it is. For some reason, it doesn't work with the shield. Yeah. All right, that's that one. Hey, Gammy. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Just starting the week pretty busy. But otherwise, doing okay. Yeah. There's some stuff that works that I didn't think would work. That's one of them, and then... Being able to use Link as, uh... Sort of a post to keep the, the president sign up, you can do that too. I need meat. I need meat. Come here. Come here. There we go. Thanks, guys. Just the constant having to swap back and forth between the armor. Okay, I'm just seeing what I haven't looked at.
I'm good. It's alright. Chill and fired the warning shot. You better get out of here. It's weird how wolves have primate. It is, but I'm not gonna not gonna complain about it. That got me through Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I had four hundred and something pieces of primate. Just from every single wolf I came across that howled at me, I had to kill it or it would kill me. I made a lot of money off the dude that wanted that meat. Ow. Okay. Guys, don't. Thank you. I wish you could save loadouts, that'd be cool. Let's see. Pick it off the edge. I I mean it's just you have to you just have to swap clothes so frequently in certain situations. Guys, you want to attack the bats? <laughs> not like that. <laughs> it's not what I meant. This, this is going well. I'm not chasing them on purpose right now, but I guess for the time being, it's okay. I still haven't made up my mind if I'm going to find them all again. Because there's more this time, and it wasn't that long ago that I found all of them in Breath of the Wild. Oh, that Korok, yeah. Come on. 
sometimes the camera just does not. Because you're rotating it at a fixed angle, and unless you're completely facing the right way, it's not going to slot in. It reminds me of this one in Breath of the Wild that just took forever to slot in. <laughs> it's this one where you have to thread it through a, just a hole, and it just would never register. Time for this, it would appear. I'm ready. See, I have the sword that seals evil now. This is fine. Yeah. No problem. I get one of the bows, so that's not... I like that bow, at least. It's a good bow, especially now. They have more hearts. Uh, Gloom Club. Do I want another Gloom Club? Yeah, I mean, could make it a very heavy hit off. I remember how afraid I used to be of that that thing. <laughs> That no, just it doesn't seem like anything. Yeah, I mean, I just use it above ground whenever I need to take the big target out. Just attach something strong and then just go. Honestly, it had been a while since I'd seen one. See, there's all there's this whole area over here. Okay, now I need to swap to shrines are left in the area. I don't, is the answer. <laughs> what 
let it go flying. Let the sword go. I put it down so I could eat it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Ah, oh, chillin'. <laughs> I wanted him to eat it. I was gonna get a buffed weapon out of it. Yeah, it buffs the weapon, but you can only do it once per Blood Moon. I mean, if you don't know, in Breath of the Wild, the equivalent is it makes a rusty weapon shiny again. So here it just uh, applies a buff. So if it didn't have like a modifier, like say durability or attack up, it would gain one. In the case of that sword, it would have been good. Probably would have gotten an even better one. says you can get better food if you're cooking during a blood moon. Yeah, it's the critical thing that happens. If you do it between 11.30 and midnight when the blood moon's happening, then every craft is a critical. And just never... It's one of those things that you just have to be there right away. Even without the Blood Moon, every now and then a recipe can crit. And when the recipe crits, it gets better stats than it would. So, like, let's say... The simple example is, let's say I put two fruit together. The fruit would ordinarily give you a three heart heal. When it crits, it gives you a five heart heal instead. But if you do that between 11.30 and midnight on a blood moon, you always get that five heart benefit. I don't see anything. It's probably below. Ah.
And so you're not cook pots are always on you. That's true. Just you only can cook one thing. I kind of wish they would let you cook multiple, but I get why. If you want to do it on mass, you pretty much have to be near a stable. of Koroks along the way just by following this trail. I'll keep going. Wait. Oof. Almost made error. the way this I wonder if these do anything anymore there's another one I already see it I just don't bother with the like likes. They just take too long to kill in the chests. They don't really give you much at all. I'm not sure how I ended up in a situation where I have this many arrows. Somehow. I have over 200. stuff anyway. I wish I would have done more with the cooking, just make the recipes that you find, the ones that make good looking food, just make those strong, but instead it's still, still what it was in Breath of the Wild, where it's just the most optimal recipes, are stacking four of the same ingredient and a dragon horn, for stuff that has a duration, and then the others are just five of the same ingredient, or three and two, or four and one, it's just... It's kind of a shame. Damn it, I was going to backstab you. Oh, 
What? Did it really shoot me from that far away? Wow. Yeah, I've talked to the lady about the statues already. I'm just like following them loosely. Exploring the general area a bit more. Ah, that's this thing. There we go. That should still work. Hmm. Eh, I'll run to that island too. That's probably just a camp that has nothing. Yeah, this is a bit awkward. I'm being lazy, I should make a vehicle. Should have the strength to climb that. There we go. Hmm. 
Yep, there was one here. Okay. I was wrong. This wasn't an enemy camp. Probably the It's pretty much the same as Breath of the Wild, it's just every single major stop has a Korok. And time to change clothes again. There we go. Okay, except this one. this pointing to? There? Oh, it's these, okay. I thought they'd just be like a structure, it's just this. I'm just visiting anything that has pillars or thereabouts the look of a pillar. Something over there. I know where I want to head after this. It's just for now. Get a little exploration done here, because I just never bothered with this area. <laughs> Should be over this hill then. Is that what it's referring to? Alright, yeah, that looks like an enemy base more than anything else. I think it's probably safe to ignore that one.
I'm surprised that the sand boots don't give you better traction in that kind of sand. That would have been good. Would have made them extra useful. Is that, are those rockets? No, they're bombs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, please deal with it. Deal with the bat. Guys, chill it! <laughs> God. I don't know why sometimes they just take forever to start attacking stuff. This is, uh... <laughs> Oops. Uh-oh. I'm surprised I would have expected a Korok at one of these. Alright, alright, fine. The bean over there, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's just Molduga territory. I don't think I need to be a star in the desert anymore. I think. <laughs> this is probably as far as I need to come out, because the rest of it is unlikely. Right next to the dungeon. This area, I would assume, is free of Koroks. I'm surprised this is working as well as it is. Like, I haven't lost momentum. Okay, there we go. Yeah. That went for a while. Hmm, okay. Oops. <sighs> How many buttons do a controller have? Like a controller has four buttons, four shoulder buttons, a D-pad, and then if you really want to, you can do button combinations where you hold one button and press another. I say this because, for some reason, just everything seems to be A. Interact. Pick up. <laughs> same button. Attack. With ally. Same button. Oh, <sighs> 
That's what I'll do. Okay. okay. I'm fighting you. Yeah, my little friend. <laughs> I want another jaw. I think this is used to upgrade armor as well anyway, so this is still a good thing, doing this. Uh, that's a pretty decent claymore. I'll get rid of that. That I'm good. Hmm, weird. This is what I wanted to take a second look at. What symbol is that? It's like two eyeballs. Alright. I'm gonna go find it. Hopefully it's one of the ones in town. in town. Ah, oh, it's just this one here. Yeah, yeah, I've been to that one. Oh. Ah, it's a special photo. Hey, look at this. 
Isn't this all great? After the sand shroud went away, I came outside and found it just lying right here. Mama said it's weird, but you agree, it's cute, right? It's my very own treasure. I want this all. No way, find this keeper. It takes a special vow, though, to see what a special orb this is. Aww. If you like it that much, I guess I could lend it to you. On one condition, you gotta play with, I mean, challenge me for it. Beat me and it's yours. So you ready? Alright. It's Dahlia's game. But we can't face off here, let's go to the shelter. What is, what is about to happen? Ah! Here we are! Everybody's gone back to the surface, so I get to use the shelter as my own playground. Here's the game. I'm gonna hide the stuffed sand sealed dolls somewhere here. If you find it before the time runs out, you win. Okay, now close your eyes for a minute while I hide it. Where should I hide it? I've got to pick a spot fast. Did this stuff belong to the soldiers? Gotta brace myself and push! Okay, you can open your eyes now. I found the perfect hiding spot. Good luck figuring out where I put it. Ready to go? Start. Oh. I was gonna... Move that thing. <laughs> oh, you found it. Good job, you win. See you back at the entrance to the shelter, okay? Wow, how'd you find it? LNG the orb now, just as I promised, so you can play with it as much as you want. The game was so much fun. It reminds me of something Miss Ashaya told me. If there's a vote I have fun hanging out with, then he's a very special vote indeed. See, I knew right from the start that you were a special vote. Let's play together sometime. Yeah, I haven't done anything in Gerudo Town because I hate just the Gerudo area in general. I got here, I did the thing, and then I left. <laughs> That's the story. I just, I hate this area. I've done nothing practically in this whole thing. Other than the bare minimum of just being able to get around. I grabbed some quests, but then I just ignored it. All right, that's not the ball I'm looking for. I've done one. It was hidden in the rubble there, but other than that, I haven't actively looked for the other ones. <laughs> no, I mean, try not to backseat. Like, just let me go through my thought process. I know that the one I didn't want isn't for that, because I saw the symbol. Like, neither is this one. I wasn't about to go try it. I remembered the symbol. So then, the only other one I've seen is the one, like, back there. Like, sometimes, I'm sure it saves me a minute or two, but if I have the answer to everything, then, I don't know. It's not entertaining. Especially because who knows what'll happen when I go look for something. But it did make a mental note of what the ball looked like. So I know that's not the one. Yeah, so here's a here's another rabbit hole I didn't follow. I saw this and just walked away from it. Okay. I like her skill, but the downside is you just have to walk up to her. It's a little clunky. It's a ranged attack that you have to walk up to her. A melee character who will most likely be up close to be able to use it. It's just... I don't know why they couldn't have just made it a dedicated button somehow. 
when you're shooting, just call her, like, pull out the arrow, then press one of the many other buttons you have to make her do the thing, instead of having to walk up to her. Like, yeah, I don't know. I think the system's kind of clunky. It's the same with Sidon's one, like, they could have made it something where, when you pull out the shield, press a, now press some, like, some button on the D-pad to make Sidon give you the power. Instead of having to walk up to him and talk to him. And maybe Unobo could have been throw. Throw Unobo. Press a button on the D-pad to throw Unobo. Instead of having to walk up to him. That's my only complaint with the Sage system. It's cool, but just the fact that you have to walk up to them when they're all in combat, it's, it's clunky. Like right, right, right now, <laughs> trying to talk to her. When it was only Chulun, it was fine, because Chulun's one kind of activates in mid-air on its own already, but now that I have all of them, like, yeah. This could have been better. Eh. Okay. I guess that's the rift, huh? I don't mind killing Gib though. I will use their bones to fight. one either that's the flame one have you seen a fellow with a scruffy beard around here uh <clears throat> sorry that was rather abrupt there's a caravan squad a merchant group hoping to trade in garuda town our friend ponthos has uh, disappeared when karakara bazaar was attacked by monsters we all ran taking refuge in the inn i thought ponthos was with us the whole time but when we finally caught our breath he was nowhere to be found between the storming sands and the rush of people, everything was a chaotic blur. I could barely see a thing. I caught a glimpse of Ponthos running out through the west entrance. Mm. If we're lost in the desert, our squad's rule is to wait for a rescue in the place that stands out like a tall building. But with all the sinkholes in the desert, it's easy to get tripped up. And I'd rather not find out what would happen if you fell in one. Ah. <laughs> it's just the mix of having to change clothes constantly the, the enemy types because there's lizards and electric case and it's just unless you have a sand seal it's just slow to move I don't know why I like my ins my energy to do this area. It's just always ugh.
And then there's the whole story of the Gerudo, which just annoys me. Though, to their credit, they're letting- they're at least letting me in the town this time around. At least they're not doing what they did in Breath of the Wild. West entrance, so... West entrance? Other sign? Okay. Go, go, go. Get out of here. <laughs> I didn't jump into. You know, tall structure when lost in the desert. It did say west though. The only other tall structure I can think of is if you got mixed up with that tower. Sound the alarm. I mean, that's the only other one that would fit the bill. being able to correct. Is that 
Is that the president? Guys, please, please deal with the bat. Please deal with the bat. Okay, but this just I feel like I could build something here to cope with this. That should One more second away from working. Flop back. Alright. We should have just fixed that. Does it look out? What is this? Let's see if there's any anything important. Alright, ah, uh, hopefully. Okay, well I did a lap of the the desert, I'm good. Uh, I'm gonna go turn in the corrupt quest. Before I completely forget about it. There you go, little fella. I wonder what happened if you got swallowed up on it. Oh, it's kind of scary. Thanks, Mr. Hero. I'm so happy. Five carrots. Okay. That's done. Okay. Well, uh, something I have done absolutely zero of is up here, so I'm going to the Highlands now. Which I'm sure there's at least one shrine up here. I already saw a core rock right there on the map screen. Um, yeah. At the very least, I won't have to swap clothing constantly. Oh, I already see one. Immediately.
good timing. Wait, already worthy? What? No. What did I what did I do that was already worthy? Unless this is a fake out again. No? Okay. What what big problem did I solve for this one? Skip it. Oh, that's <laughs> that's nice. I get. What was why? Why is this worthy? Oh, hold on. this when the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh the world is threatened once again uh huh I think I need to wait for sunshine on this one. Korok, where is Korok? Chest over there. There we go. Yeah, ha ha. Sorry, little dude. My bad. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, that's its face. Oh, its face fell off. Alright, there we go. I mean, I feel like I just stand here. I guess, wait and see. Depends if the sun hits it from this angle or not. I might have to do some trickery. Okay, here comes the sun. Bet you it doesn't. There's a reason this is here. There's multiple of these. This is gonna be a process.
Oh, can I just... Surely that's hitting it. How's that beam not hitting it? Should be dead on. Okay, it kind of cuts off there, but that's fine. Some like cut out. it out again. Looks like this is another one of these by 10 a.m. things you have to have it done. this will work. Did it already turn off? Why? That was quick. What? Why is this not working?
This one seemed to shut off quicker than before. Okay, new plan. I need to get it to bounce over here. Oh, yeah. So maybe that's a bit too high. at the campfire again and I just wait okay that's aimed correctly I should be able to aim this properly. Seems this would work. Just gotta wait. <laughs> it's better be worth it. Oh, we're on. Dude. I'd even be able to get it here. Okay, just wait for it. It'll it'll pop up. It'll pop up. that it shot the beam here eventually. Just have to trust it. Come on.
Just give it like another 30 seconds ish. Where is my beam? There it is. What? So awkward. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Jeez. I just didn't want to go back and remove it again. Like, I knew it would work. Just needed the angle. So it better be something extremely worthwhile. Statue of the Heroine Cave. things here. Okay, um, where is she? She's not here with us, okay. Plenty of lightning fruit. It is <laughs> single sword. Uh, now I gotta find frog. Where is Frog? Oh, here. Nice little distraction. We're done here. What was that thing I marked over there? Oh, hold on. This is important. I need to get more. 
more of these fruits. Whoops. Wrong shield. Okay, there we go. Mark something over there with a star. Why did I do that? There's probably a reason. Is there a star here? Hmm. Why did I mark this with a star? Nothing's falling from the sky, that's weird. Not sure why I would have done that. Alright, I guess get rid of it. Please, just quiet. There's something I put a fight in here as well, which I think we can do now. I'm just covering old ground, I guess. So I did not have the Korok mask at that point, so that's the other reason I'm here. Yeah, there you are. I'm fighting that thing. 
So, in preparation of that. Just give their parts to fight it. Oh, damn, it already saw me. Okay, let's do the most good we can here. <laughs> this outfit. Didn't hurt it. Okay, we need more firepower. This boat instead. Ah, uh, the last head survived somehow. Okay, we're going heavy. First things first, this one. Next. I've taken a photo of you. I'm sure I have. get him shot. I need to let it hit some grass. should die. Give me all that Gliok stuff. Oh, 
Okay, now I can, I can really explore this area. Because <laughs> I did not do it. The first time. There used to be a shrine on the cell. So I was curious about it. Oh, what? That's a shrine. Isn't it? That's oh, a car. Never mind. I thought it was the shape of a shrine. That. Obvious. Probably for another shield there. on the uh, president. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why is it so weird to talk to him sometimes? Uh -huh. Ah, the president's standing! sell those tickets. I just, I don't do anything with them. Okay, well. doesn't let me go through here. Okay, whatever.
Ah, yeah, this is the pit that Twitch was in. Wait, what? Is there a cave here and I didn't realize it? What's that? Korok ahead. I don't even know what to use the weapon now. I guess this one's my weakest. I heard it go off. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. Okay. I heard it go off. Where is it? Near the pit. Hello. Okay. Gotta be a cave or something nearby. Where the fuck would there be a cave? I haven't seen one around here. Shocked if it was on that mountain. That just. Oh, you know what? I haven't walked along the. I bet it's. I bet it's a canyon thing. Watch. Watch it be a canyon thing. Yeah, I already see the thing. I'll go for a walk along here. further down. Ah, oh, crap, it's an ice like.
I can avoid fighting it. It's just going to be too annoying. Dudes. The never special. Okay, I found it. And the frog is in the, uh... The side... a bit to break through it because it's blue stone instead. Come on, already worthy. No. Okay, that's fine. The right roll. Might be chaotic. Yeah, it's gonna be chaotic. Okay. 
Come on. I saw I saw the indicator. out. There we go. It worked. Haha. Alright. I mean, wouldn't it just be this way? It's just the little one on the outside like this. Battle doesn't need momentum. Damn it. This seems annoying. Is like do a hook type situation. I don't like that. Doesn't work. I got it to turn. Trying to see what would work here. And what kind of just. Hundred percent certain what to do in this circumstance. Okay, hold on. That, but like the other way around. Uh, the 
it's more annoying than fun. There we go. Ah, oh, so close. It's it's that. That and facing the way I want it to turn. Here, hopefully. I mean, how close was that? Man, this is just ugh, this is just annoying. It just does not roll down quick enough. to be it's something like this it's, it's very very particular about it it does have to be from literally the very top That turned way too early. Ah, see, even this looks wrong. I thought it was fine, but then when it started turning, it just seems dilapidated. a bit better. Alright. And go. What the f- Am I 
it's not, now it's not even turning. Uh, I do have the Master Sword, but I want to try and solve this myself, so no spoils or spoilers. For fuck's sake. This has to be something... Either I'm overcomplicating it, or... It is really that specific what I have to do. Oh, what shrine is it? Um, I don't remember the name, but it's like somewhere in the west. Oh, that's better. Okay. Whatever that, do that again. Okay, so maybe... Center aligned will work better. Like that. But see, that looks wrong. Again. I've got the right idea, it's, it just requires something very specific. I have to try and catch it at the end just so in case it does go well. I really don't like these ones that require you to do something very, very specific. It's not gonna hit. Let me see further down. I think that's the annoying thing about it is you get a shape that works and then you kind of watch it go off the edge and then you have to reform it and you might not reform it in the exact same way as you did before. Go again. <laughs> Have I met Phantom Ganon? I've met him a few times. He doesn't just appear there. He has multiple places he appears. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, couldn't catch it in time. Okay, that looks more or less centered. Come on. Not bad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Forgetting about something. Okay, let it go off the edge. Just curious. Oh, the... Really? Okay, never mind. I thought I could use the auto builder to rebuild exactly what I had before. Doesn't allow it. That would have been really useful. It would have 
kind of solve this problem I'm having, but I have to rebuild it constantly. And perfectly in the same way. That would have been nice, but it's not allowed in here. Okay, I'm ready to catch it. Not yet. This one's so frustrating. That's not gonna work. Yeah, that makes it go that way. What about... The problem is the further down I go, the slower it rolls, so it just doesn't pick up the speed. So it has to be like somewhere here. There was another one that was very similar to this one, and it was just equally as annoying. It was just... It has to be something very specific, and then you hope that the physics work out. Okay. I'm trying another thing. Hold on to that, but that's not going to work. Let's give it more weight. Let's see what happens. That went further down quicker. Hold on, there might be something to this. Let me straighten this out. So that it's not messy. Yeah. Uh, I mean... 
Come on, you bastard. Okay, that can make it. It just needs... It just needs the momentum. You just need to make sure... Yeah, the shape that it's taking right now, it's, it's too horrible. it this way. It just needs to be perfectly straight. Now it's rolling this way. Okay, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good! You hit it. <laughs> Finally! Oh, that was annoying. I don't think that was the way I was supposed to solve it, but I don't care, I'm out. Got it. Ugh. That one took a while. Took like 10, 15 minutes. Just that last part. Oh man. Uh, okay. Right, now I gotta break through that wall. Where is it? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be here for a couple minutes. What was, what was that? <laughs> Ow. How did you aim straight up? Oh man, all right. Hey, rubies. You know, but do, do you wanna, sir, quickly? Thank you. Not you. There we go. Oh, okay, that was a little overkill on my part. <laughs> I just made it do the lightning move. Oh, 
Okay. What is this? This is just looping. I think this is just looping. Yeah, okay, just look back. <laughs> Out of here. Oh, this is taking a while. I mean, yeah, there's probably a bunch here that I haven't discovered. I'm just looking at pockets where the map is, I guess, not as well filled in. Okay, so here is, a, yeah, there. That entire east area, almost. Alright, I'll have a look around the ridge for now. being lazy about the, the gorge. Mr. President, this is a different one. Surprise if this holds it up already. Let's see. <laughs> How's the president standing? Do I have now? We are up to. Oh, I got 10. I got to the magical number. Huh? 
Where is it? I need to kill off the rocks. Okay, Octa Tentacle. I need more of them to upgrade the Zora gear. beaten you. Wakey wakey. Got beaten it, but... At this point, I may as well. For the high knocks, guts, I, I need more of them. Drop guts. It didn't drop guts. Oh well. Had to try. This is just to get the spot. Not that I want to go down, but... Oh, Yiga. Well, that was an easy light route. I will have to dedicate a stream where I progress on the ground. I'm gonna have to. Maybe this is what someone meant before. Oh my god, no shit. Is that really what it is? Mm, not, not quite. It doesn't quite marry up.
Wait, doesn't that? Interesting. So that's how you know, huh? The light route and the shrines marry up. So if I know the shrines, I know the light routes and vice versa. Alright, there's a treasure straight ahead. I'm going for it. So if I, if I'm right about this, there should be a light route just straight ahead. stuff. I don't mind. It's fine. I mean, I guess that's kind of nice. It's like, no matter what you progress. No matter what you progress, you're going to be able to do the other one. Tunic of Time. Which, wait a minute. I already had one. <laughs> this on the radar.
Right, so if I'm right. Just follow this map instead. Yeah. No shit. Well, this just makes this a lot easier. Well, this is a, uh, this is a realization. I guess there is an advantage to doing the underground first. I don't think I'm gaining an advantage though. I think I haven't gotten any light route that represent the shrine yet. Yeah, that's interesting. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, I kind of just noticed it. Like, they perfectly overlap. Okay, back to the surface, um, we'll go back here. No, wait, from here. Interesting. Wait a minute. Sorry, I'm just looking at this. I think there's any new information I can ascertain from it. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, just a thought. I'm gonna get some materials first. Do some harvesting. Apple picking. Oh, this is so easy. Oh my god, this is so much better. All of the apples are mine. So good. <laughs> I 
at all the apples. could have more recipes I basically put every single thing that you can pick into a favorite for easy harvesting oops Apples I have picked already. <laughs> so good. I didn't realize how useful this was until this this spot here. Accidentally baked a couple apples, but that's fine. <sighs> What's my apple title now? 185 apples. Hey, Colin, how's it going? There is a car up here. Okay, hold on. Uh, this stuff here. Oh, it's just here. Yeah. All the kids at home. <laughs> Public holiday. Got any plans for the day? Don't have it off. Ah, fair enough. It's another Karak there. No, I just had a revelation with the uh, how the underground connects to the overworld. So I guess it. Someone said it before, and I guess it just didn't click completely what they meant. But now I understand. Now I understand completely how it works. Yeah, do do you know the do you know the connection with the underground and the overworld? It's a massive time saver. Unfortunately I realized it a bit late, but that's fine. So there's another str Ah, uh, I completely forgot about this one. Holy crap. Yeah, the shrines and the light roots being in the same spot is like one, but then it's kind of... You can also use the shadows to kind of figure out where the next one is, even if you don't have the area. Just sort of what I did here. Like, even the shadows kind of tell you where it is. Well, if you look at it, Sometimes, sometimes they do weird shit like this. 
And depending on the reveal, you can kind of ascertain, oh, there's a shrine there. Sometimes it, it does it at like a weird angle. I don't have the one that I had before, but like it was doing this sort of weird S shape thing with the fog. So I kind of worked out where it was. I mean, that one's a very isolated example, but there are other ones where you just look at how. What the fuck? Oh, let's just be a high note. I mean, it hasn't helped. <laughs> so, I haven't been doing the underground. You need to do the underground and getting the light routes. It's like, eh. At this point, it's not really a big deal. Like, I guess if I'm missing shrines, do the light routes and try and find the light routes instead. But How many shrines am I? Ah, uh, good question. I'll check. I'll check with this one. I want to say 150, but I'm not certain. Hinox guts? No Hinox guts, unfortunately. with bows here. Oh, there's definitely more than 120. That is for sure. Like, I passed 120 a long time ago. Wait, didn't the Hinox die here? Oh, okay. I completely forgot about this one. I saw the thing, I just it never clicked to go talk to it. I also looked for the, uh, the Baja Blast Mountain Dew at, like, some American specialty stores. There's already one American specialty store selling it, but they're like, oh, $120 for a box of it. It's like, that's because they're the first ones to get it in. They're just being assholes about it, but it's okay. It'll be like, give it a, give it another, give it another month, and then it'll go down to normal. Like, that store's just like that. They just try to make money. I mean, keep in mind just what you can find in Australia. It's just... There'll be, there'll be a cheaper option. I'm in no rush. I found one that um, sells them just by the can, so if I'm like that morbidly curious, I can go get just a can of it. Do I want that? 
Yeah, get rid of this. I don't use magic. That's a crazy amount. You bought four cases for $15. I mean, that's just... How it is when something isn't available in the country that you're trying to purchase it in. And it's imported. It's like the same as those potato chips you tried to find, right? It's it was stupidly expensive. Or if you try to get Tim Tams, like I can buy Tim Tams extremely cheap. But I hear they, they sell them for like four times the price over there just because they're that popular. It's not like they're in low supply. The American specialty store is like trying to sell a bag of Funyuns for six bucks as well. I'm not paying six dollars for Funyuns. They're not that good. That's about how much it is. Oh, no kidding. I feel like I've seen them cheaper, though. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of going all over the place here. Oh, yeah, but I'm not, I guess I'm not talking, I'm still not thinking about inflation prices. Like, inflation prices, sure. Huh? If I was to take inflation prices into account, then yeah, sure. I guess the reference is, like, huh? for me, I'm not paying more than $4 for a bag of chips. It's just not gonna happen. Pre-inflation, if you were desperate, four dollars. Three fifty was like standard. Three fifty is standard pricing. When they're on special, it would be like three dollars or two dollars fifty if you were really lucky. And that, that's fine. Yeah, make make interact the same as pickup. I am having cheese and crackers more than chips. Because it just seems more economical and better. Which is kind of crazy. I don't understand why. Like, you wouldn't think that. Even if I had visitors over, like, I would just go make a, a cheese platter, man. Like, they'd be more happy with that. Yeah, you get a block of cheese and crackers cheaper than chips, and you get more servings out of it. Like, it, it just... I don't understand. I'm gonna put some some deli meats in there and it's even better. Hinox guts, please. There we go. Hinox guts, nice. Potatoes are now a luxury product. 
it's, it's, it's just crazy. Kind of reminds me when kale just suddenly became super expensive. Just all of a sudden it was just, oh, this thing just blew up in price. near the upgrade fountain. Maybe it's more just inflation, poor harvest. Well, that's what they said here in Australia, but I refuse to believe that everywhere in the world is having poor harvests. Uh, okay, when I say everywhere in the world, I mean where it counts, right? It's like, we're talking about Australia, America, the UK, and multiple parts of Europe. Like, really, all of them having potato harvest and having the same inflation on potato? Potato chips? Like, really? That's, that's just this epidemic of uh, failed potato crops worldwide? I, I find that hard to believe. So I need Din's Fang. Got the Lionel Guts of Ale. So I just need money, more or less. Um, Lizalf I need to kill more Lizalfos. Okay, that's what's missing that. Yeah, more Lizalfos kills. I swear I've been killing more of them. What about you? Ice Lizalfos. Ice Lizalfos. Ice Lizalfos. Okay. Shit, this requires diamond. That's annoying. Do I think the price of everything will reduce? I have no idea. Honestly, I can't predict that. I want to just give it, given history, just think back when you were a kid and how much things cost, right? Just something as simple as a Happy Meal. How much did a Happy Meal cost when you were a kid versus now? It's just, it's not going to go down. That would, that would be my instinct. You don't have to be 30 years old to make that comparison either. Like, you could be 20 and make that comparison. What's that? Things costing less? Capitalism making less money? <laughs> it's just not gonna happen that way. So the frogs haven't reappeared here. I don't know. I might get rid of this one because I thought the reason I put that there is just because I saw frogs and I needed those frogs, but they have not reappeared. All right. Anyway, um, it's time to make some serious money. I can finally make my, my big, big earnings. I 
I mean, let's put it another way, okay? Before this inflation thing, okay? Go back to the example of potato chips. Now, in Australia, before inflation hit, the bags of potato chips were 350 like if you're buying a, one of the kettle cooked ones, roughly. That's what you wanted to pay. Now, the standard bag of potato chips before inflation is at 170 grams. If you go back 10 years ago, the standard size was 200 grams. Same price. So it's like... The price of this, the chips still increased over time. Because you get less now in a bag. And so it's still a case of things just keep going up in price. They just don't go back. Oh, increase the price of the bag? Are they going to put it back to 200 grams? No, they'll keep it at 170. I wouldn't be surprised if they only give you 150 grams in the next few years. Where is she? She's usually just walking around here. Yeah, shrinkflation. It's like you get hit on both sides. This time it was shrinkage and inflation. What? Where is she? She's usually here. I'm either blind, tired, or both. There she is. Alright. Mm. Ah. Yeah, look at that money. Eh? Yeah, look at that money. Oh, oh diamonds again? Damn it. She got diamonds again. I can't believe that. I have to get another 10 diamonds. But you know what? It's fine. Like, there. Yeah, there's, there's all that money I'll, I'll need for a while. You just don't buy it and you don't get fat. I mean, I like the spirit of that. I do. But th th they do it in a manner where, like, they make you earn a little bit more so then you can keep up with that. So it's just enough to keep you spending. I mean, admittedly right now it's kind of stagnated. One thing I'm surprised hasn't happened yet, in terms of inflation, I'm surprised they haven't done that to Twitch. Because every single subscription service you can think of has gone up in price. The one that hasn't yet is like uh, subscriptions in streaming services. It's so like the cost of bits, the cost of uh, subs and the equivalent on other platforms, like that hasn't moved and I bet, I bet you. Like, mark my words, within the next year, they're going to rise it. Watch. Mm. Even if it's by 10 cents, it doesn't matter. Like, they're going to do something. I just... Mm. I got this feeling. Um, going to make some strong pants. I, I, I can't believe they just... They... Surely someone told them. Mm. Has it been this price for a while? Uh, to my knowledge, yeah. Uh. In Australia, it's a bit different because... Before, I believe, we used to pay in US dollars, but then they introduced... Being able to play, pay in Australian dollars, so... There was already kind of a bit of a discrepancy there. No, 
We don't want to upgrade that. Um, I need three more Silent Princess. I think they may have respawned already. I know where one is. If Twitch costs go up, does that mean I'll earn more? Haha, <laughs> no. Stream is earning more, what is that? I mean, probably, but it'll be like a fraction. It's, it's, it's not worth it, it's like a fraction per sub. Okay, uh, we're going here. Because maybe the silent princess has gone back up. I mean, oh wow, I'm at a perfect 400 for Koroks. Not even halfway. <laughs> Just realized that, that's a nice round number. Uh, while well, I'm here. either way, even if it was 15. Alright, one, two, where's the third one? Three. I think that's all I needed to upgrade. Just three more. So now this chess piece is like, it's a no-brainer. I have to wear it, even though it looks vanilla. I don't, I just, wait, I could, I can't change its color, can I? It's like the one piece of clothing that you can't change the color on. Which, ugh. yeah, that sucks. It would have been nice. I would have made it green and it would have looked cool. It's like, yeah, at least it looks like the tunic, you know? Or maybe that was just a Breath of the Wild thing. I'll go try. What does she do? <laughs> what happened to the days where they just wave their magic wand and then the upgrade happens? Thirty-two armor. Mm. <laughs> now even with the Korok Mask, this is really good defense. Okay, uh Where is it? Hateno. I'll see, maybe I can color the clothing. Let me just... The way to tell is just do this. Oh, 
Oh, wait, it works now? Does it? Ah. Uh, we can't dye those clothes. Ugh, I don't know why. Why? Like, what, what's the harm in allowing us to dye this armor, honestly? Oh, um, no. We can't tarnish the, the champion's branding. That's it's pretty lame. I don't- I don't see a reason other than, no, we don't want the champion tunic dyed. It's like, that's the look of the champions. Anyway. While I'm here. Almost there. I would imagine there's... It's either there's five sh five shrines remaining, or I don't know. Okay, one spot I wanted to look at. This hill most definitely has one. I'd be shocked if it didn't. And then I can bring it to, like, just an even four remaining. But see, that would bring the total to 148, so that's weird. The total would have to be 160. It would have to be 160 shrines. Because 150 doesn't divide by 4. And I would find it weird if they did something like 148. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I'm sure there's an answer, I don't want to know the answer. <laughs> no spoilers. Just thinking out loud. You can probably Google it and find it out, like, right now, but I don't want to. Oh, do you know the other thing? I guess... Yeah, I don't need to wear Hylian pants anymore. It's like Fizz Deity pants. Because they're 20 armor now. So. This is pretty strong. This looks good. I mean, color coordinated. It looks, looks good. I like it. Just wish I could dye it green. There it is. Going off if there was something. Maybe there isn't anything. Cause I don't think I had the radar properly when I was at this point. But I kind of just passed through. Yeah. Okay. It's here. All right. Cool. So that'll bring us to. Uh, just one heart container missing. Probably underground.
Where is the shrine? Doesn't look like it's here. All right. Hmm. It has to be a cave because I would have I I would have pointed it out if it was on the surface level. Like at this point, I, I think I would have seen all the surface level ones. Like most of the ones I've found today have all been caves, with the exception of one. Wait a minute, there's a cave over there. Did I just not figure this out? Dun, 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 dun. I went with overkill. Money, we need. We need a bunch of stuff here. Um, now let me attach it to this. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit uh, confused <laughs> if I did not find this. Okay. Interesting. have still not found it. It looks like there's... Is this the same passage? Hang on. That's the exit. Alright, hang on. I just want to be sure. Hmm. Where is this? Be nearby. Oh. 
Did I just overcomplicate this and it's like in a stump or something? Nope. Oh, wow. Okay, fuck me then. Mystery solved. Yeah, I mean, I thought it would have been in a cave. I just kind of assumed that the surface level I found everything, but I guess not. Jump the gaps. Oh. This is fun. We Chest over here. I mean, one just kind of shocked that I didn't find this one sooner It's either four to go or sixteen to go. It's one or the other. Or I'm just completely wrong and it's, it's just some, some other weird number. I suppose we'll know it'll tell me. It says, set it in Breath of the Wild. It didn't say it now, so there's more to go. Yeah, that was, that was surprising that I it just didn't click to look here. Oh, um. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, I'll just walk around the hill for a little bit and then head to town and upgrade one more time. Uh. 
There might be like a Korok or two on the cell. See it. One more Korok. I'll make it worthwhile. There we go. Where? Oh, it stopped. Why? That's over here somewhere. The stumps? What am I looking at here? Oh. I knew it was the stumps. It I just didn't see the flower. It's another one. Okay. I'm content with that. Are you kidding? Another one? I was just about to stop because I saw a golden apple. I got all of them? Yeah, I did. There we go. Wait, didn't I? Okay, I didn't. <laughs> Still. Okay, that is definitely a golden apple. Witness the miracle harvesting. <laughs> Such I wish I could do it with everything, but you can only store a certain number. Just harvest everything that way. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Shrine and a Korok. Ah. Sneaky. It's 
stopped beeping. It was beeping when I went to the other side over here. Yep, okay. Surely this one's below. There's no way I missed two surface level ones. Yeah, it's below. Alright, cool. It's a cave. Alright, we're looking for a cave. Deep enough? It is. Okay. Galaxy brain move here. Not that. Okay. I accidentally swapped. But it worked. <laughs> I was supposed to use ice and then I released the button and it just shot it. Alright, where are you? You know about come here. Not you. I was saying this earlier, but I find it weird that they did, they could have made each of the sages a button press. Like for Yunobo, if you want to throw him, throw, and then you press a button to throw Yunobo. If you want to shoot lightning arrows, pull out your bow, press a button, and then it's a lightning arrow. If you want your water shield, pull out your shield, press a button. And Chulin is just, well, when you're in the air, you're using it. Like, I don't understand why you have to walk up and talk to them. It's, it's just so clunky. It could have been so good. The amount of times where I've accidentally talked to one of the other sages when I'm trying to interact with a particular one. Man. Yeah, like right now. Yep. There we go. 
go. Down the... Jojon. Oh, it's one of these. Rotation. Magically died. Oh, this would be why. I have your power. Whoops. Oh, this is bad. This is bad for business. Screw me over, right? <laughs> Oh shit. Well, there goes that. That is uh, currently permanently sh shooting fire. Hooray! 
We are now... Hopefully, this area done. Yeah, I don't care about that. But I guess I had a slot. Okay, another heart container. Okay. I am just gonna go back here. Wait, not here. Wrong one. Here. Good old lookout landing. Hey, <laughs> nearly there. Okay, I'm gonna save at this point. It's been four and a half hours, so a lot of, a lot of progress made in different ways. I need to think. I'm sure there's like, in one of these areas that I just haven't visited enough, I'm sure there's like a couple of shrines, but all right. That's gonna do it for Zelda for tonight. Uh, yeah, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking and sticking around to the end if you made it this far. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have been enjoying and consider clicking the buttons for the algorithm stuff if you want to support what I'm doing. But also thank you to those that have been uh, doing that. It's helped a lot. So, yeah. We'll see you next time, YouTube. Bye.